In this video, we're going to focus on finding the derivative of x raised to the x raised to the x. So how can we go about doing that? What steps do we need to take? The first thing that we should do is set it equal to y. That's step one. In the next step, we need to take the natural log of both sides. And the reason why we want to do that is because the natural log function allows us to move the exponent to the front. So let me give you an example. Let's say if we have ln a squared. Using the power rule of natural log functions, or log functions in general, we could take the 2 and move it to the front. So ln a squared is equal to 2 ln a. So let's go ahead and apply that property. So we need to take the entire exponent of x that is x to the x, and move it to the front. So therefore, the natural log of y is equal to x raised to the x times ln x. Now what should we do at this point? It's not wise to take the derivative of the function yet, because if we don't know what the derivative of x to the x to the x is, chances are we won't know the derivative of x to the x. So therefore, the only thing that we could do is take the natural log of both sides one more time. So we're going to have the natural log of the natural log of y, and that's equal to the natural log of x to the x times the natural log of x. Now let's go ahead and just clear away a few things. Now, we need to use the product rule at this point. Not the product rule of derivatives, but the product rule for natural log functions. For example, log a times b is equal to log a plus log b. So therefore, we need to separate x to the x and ln x using that property of logs. So therefore, ln, ln y is equal to ln x raised to the x plus the natural log of ln x. So at this point, we can take this exponent and move it to the front. So we have ln, ln y is equal to x, ln x plus the natural log of ln x. So now that we no longer have any variables in the exponent position, we can differentiate both sides with respect to x. So I'm going to add a d dx on the left side and also one on the right side to indicate that we're about to differentiate both sides with respect to x. So how do we differentiate a natural log function? Let's say if we want to find the derivative of ln x squared plus 9x. How can we do so? The derivative of ln u is equal to u prime divided by u. So in this example, u is the stuff on the inside, x squared plus 9x. u prime is the derivative of x squared plus 9x, which is 2x plus 9x. So therefore, the derivative of ln x squared plus 9x is basically just that formula. It's u prime. This is supposed to be just 9, not 9x. So it's u prime 2x plus 9 divided by u, which is x squared plus 9x. So now let's apply that to this function. So u is basically the stuff on the inside, which is ln y. And u prime is going to be the derivative of y, which is 1, divided by y times dy dx. So you have to use u prime over u for ln y itself. And if you do that, if you differentiate y, you get 1 times dy dx, divided by the original stuff on the inside, which is y. 
So combining u prime over u for this entire derivative, it's going to be 1 over y, that's u prime, divided by u ln y, and then of course times dy dx. So that's the derivative of the left side. Sometimes this computer has the issues. So this is 1 over y divided by ln y times dy over dx. Now what about the derivative of x ln x? We need to use the product rule. And just to review, the derivative of f times g is f prime g plus f g prime. So we need to differentiate the first part x, which is like f in this case. The derivative of x is 1, and then the second part, you leave it the same, that's going to be g, so times ln x, plus the first part, we're going to leave it the same, which is x, and then we're going to differentiate the second part. The derivative of ln x is just 1 over x. Next, we need to differentiate ln ln x which is very similar to ln ln y. Um, the only difference is it's not going to have the dy dx. So the derivative of the stuff on the inside, ln x, that's 1 over x, divided by what's on the inside, which is u. That's the u variable. u prime is 1 over x. So the u variable is ln x. So what's 1 over y divided by ln y? This is the same as 1 over y ln y. If you're not sure about that, this can help you. So this is what we have, which is equal to 1 over y divided by ln y over 1. And using the keep change flip principle, keep the first fraction the same, change division to multiplication, flip the second fraction. So you get 1 over y ln y. So now on the left side, I mean on the right side, we just have ln x. Now x times 1 over x, that's like x divided by x, that's just 1. And 1 over x ln x can simplify the same way. That's going to be 1 over x ln x. So now what's our next step at this point? What should we do after this? Our next step is to multiply both sides by y ln y. So these will cancel. So on the left, we're just going to have dy over dx, which is the derivative of y. And as you recall, y is x to the x to the x. So whatever's on the right side is going to be the derivative of x to the x to the x. So we're going to have y ln y times everything on the right side. That is ln x plus 1 plus 1 over x ln x. So if you recall, we said that y is equal to x raised to the x raised to the x. At this point, we can replace y with that, and this one too. So what we now have is x raised to the x raised to the x times ln y, or ln x raised to the x raised to the x, since that's what y is equal to. And that shouldn't be an equal sign. That should be ln x plus 1 plus 1 over x ln x. Now, is there anything that we can do to simplify our result? What would you say? The next thing that we can do is take this exponent and move it to the front. We have the answer. This is the derivative. What we're doing right now is just we're, we're simplifying our answer. So this is x raised to the x raised to the x times x to the x times ln x times all the stuff that's inside the brackets.
Now, x squared times x cubed. That's basically x raised to the 2 plus 3, which is x to the 5th. So whenever you multiply by a common base, you should add the exponents. And that's what we're about to do here. As you can see, we have a common base x. So therefore, we need to add the exponents x to the x plus x. So this is equal to just 1x raised to the x to the x plus x. And then ln x, I'm going to distribute it to everything on the inside. So ln x times ln x, that's going to be ln x but squared. And then ln x times 1, that's just ln x. And ln x times 1 over ln x, the ln x terms will cancel. And so this is just going to be 1 over x. And this is as far as we can go. I mean, I guess we could move the 2 to the front. No, we can't. We can't move that 2 because that 2 doesn't apply to the x alone. And it applies to the entire ln x. So this is as far as we can go. We can't simplify it any further. At least I can't think of any ways of doing so. So that's dy over dx. The derivative of x to the x to the x is everything that you see here.